Hello, I'm Mimi and today I want to help you get clear on your art goals and start setting some groundwork for your career as an artist. I shared my own journey so far for my art business just over a week ago and I got so many lovely comments about where you guys are in your own journeys. So I decided to make this short video to help set you up with some clarity with your goals. Also, this video is sponsored by Skillshare who have some more in-depth classes on the topic that I'll show you later. So if you're thinking you'd like to become a full-time artist or professional illustrator of some kind, it's useful to get a clear understanding of what it is you're actually working towards. Because there are loads of ways you can earn money as an artist, let's figure out who we want to be first in an ideal world by writing down our goals with a super simple activity and then we can start considering how we can get there. First, let's understand who you want to be as an artist several years from now. Best case scenario, no limitations, what would you love to be doing? You might already have a clear picture in your head, but we can break it down into some questions to help be really clear about it. So how do you want to be spending your time? Do you like the idea of mostly making physical products with your hands or spending the day at your iPad illustrating stories? Maybe you love talking to people and would enjoy teaching art in person. For me, I'd love to be able to spend most of my time illustrating pictures to share with people online or through picture books, and then the rest of my time connecting with other artists to encourage them. Then you can think about where do you want to be working? Perhaps you'd like to be working from home. Maybe you'd really love to be in a busy office in an agency. Or maybe you like the idea of working independently in a co-working space. I've always wanted to be able to work remotely from anywhere and eventually travel as a digital nomad with my work. When do you want to work and how much? Maybe you just want to work in the mornings or you'd like to spend all day working on your art. It's okay if your goal is to only ever work part-time because that's something you can work towards. And it's okay if you'd like to work full-time too. My goal is to eventually work about four days a week so that I have time to travel and spend time outdoors. Who do you want to create with? Do you like working for yourself or maybe you'd prefer to work as a team? Maybe you'd like to manage your own team in a large creative business or work for a big agency or maybe you want to collaborate with other members of the art community. I know that I want to work for myself with only a very small team at most, but also work with publishers on children's picture books as well. And lastly, and very importantly, what are your values? Or in other words, what do you care about that you need to maintain as you grow your art career? Do you care about honesty or maybe sustainability, freedom, wealth, quality, family or success? Maybe your fitness is important, so sitting at a desk all day isn't going to be a great option. Or maybe your creative fulfillment is really important, so having creative independence is the way to go for you. For me, I really value honesty and authenticity. I value sustainability, so I care about the long term. And I value freedom both in a location sense and in a creative sense. Take some time to think about each of these questions and come up with your own answers to visualize what your dream scenario actually looks like. All of these things help us understand who we want to be as professional artists and there's obviously no right or wrong answer to any of these questions. The great thing is how unique we all are and there's room for all of us in the art community. These are the foundations that will help guide us in the choices we make, how we present ourselves online or in person, and how we interact with other people. So now that we have the dream scenario figured out, we just need to find a path to get us there. Now there are loads of ways to build a career as an artist and make money, so we can find some options that fit within our dream scenario and work towards those. The important thing is to find out what kind of customer is going to purchase the art that you want to make and how do you get connected with them. Your customer might be a publisher if you're wanting to illustrate picture books, they might be a greeting card company if you want to license your art, or they might be new mums looking for art to decorate their nursery. How can you improve your skills to create art or services that best fit your audience and then how can you best reach them to show them what you offer? 
Now this is a big topic to cover for a short video which is why I'm going to share with you some points from a Skillshare class by Brooke Glaser that so aligns with my own journey and beliefs about building an art career. It's called Make a Living as an Artist, Strategies for Crafting Your Creative Business, so obviously it's perfect for today's video and if you have two hours available, click on the link in my description to get yourself a free trial and watch this class. She has a module on the ways you can make a living as an artist where she talks about the difference between working direct with businesses who often pay a lump sum but you have to create something that they want, or working direct with customers where you create something that you want and have control over, but you have to find an audience and will probably be selling lower cost items. She also talks about what makes us unique, which is really important as a business and I love that she says that we're often blind to our own strengths, because it's so true and us artists are often our own worst critics, but being overcritical and doubtful is only going to hold us back. We all have value, we all have something to provide, and we all have strengths that we can use to our advantage in our art careers. Now I don't yet have a Skillshare class of my own but if I did it would be something like this because it's clear, authentic and just helpful for understanding our options for making a living as artists. So if you're wanting some insight about finding clients, making portfolios of your art and pricing your work, click the link in my description to get a free trial to Skillshare. You'll be supporting my channel and then you can watch this class without it costing a penny to set yourself up for success and further clarify your goals. And once you've activated your free trial, I want to help you get the absolute maximum value out of it, so I've curated some Skillshare classes that I think are really useful. Since they have so many lovely classes on their platform to choose from, it can be a bit hard to know where to start. So I'm going to leave the titles of these classes in the description. If you're wanting to create more art, I thought that these classes are really great to help you with that through different mediums or challenges. If you're wanting to learn digital art skills, then these classes are a really great place to start. And if you're wanting to build your art income, then I thought that these classes had some really great foundations. So if you're ready to take the next step or the first step in your art career, take some time today to write down your own dream scenario for your art career like I just did, and then spend the next 30 days setting the foundations for learning the skills you need with a free Skillshare trial via the link in my description. You'll be supporting my channel and I honestly would not be partnered with them if I didn't think that they offered real value to you as an artist. I think they're a really great way to invest in yourself and your future and I really recommend you try them out. I'd love to know what your dream is for your art career, share with us in the comments as much or as little as you like about your answers to our activity and just think you might be looking back at this activity in 3 or 5 or 15 years time when you've achieved the things you wanted and you'll be able to see where the dream all started. Thanks so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more art videos. I hope you have a lovely creative day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!